Okay. An object starts from rest and accelerates in a straight line. Okay, the graph below shows how the acceleration of object accelerates with time. So uh, you have acceleration time graph. What is the speed of objects at 5 seconds? Uh, so this is a acceleration time graph. So need to pay attention for this. Uh, this is a acceleration time graph. Okay, acceleration time graph. Not velocity graph, not displacement graph, but acceleration time graph. Okay, so um, now he asked to find the speed, uh, the final speed, uh, consider after 5 seconds. That means after 5 seconds. Okay, uh, you need to pay attention to the unit. Is it using uh, SI unit? Yeah, meter per second square. Uh, the time also in second. Okay, so SI unit, also all SI unit, no problem. Okay, uh, so, um, so after 5 seconds, so what is the velocity? So how to do this? How can we interpret about uh, the meaning of acceleration time graph for, velo for velocity, for the speed? Uh, so uh, if you notice here, he said area under acceleration time graph. Have you learned about area under acceleration time graph? Before this, we only learned about area of velocity graph. Ah, we only learned about area of velocity graph. So I show here a little bit of knowledge. Uh, you, we only learn about area of velocity graph, which is the displacement. Okay, if you look at this uh, graph, this is a this is a velocity time graph. Huh? Be careful. Huh? This is a velocity graph, and be, this one is the acceleration graph. Yeah, huh? this is a velocity time graph. This acceleration time graph. You look at the velocity time graph. Uh, so uh, this one initial velocity, final velocity, time taken. So the area under velocity graph is like a trapezium, isn't it? Trapezium. So uh, still am familiar with this equation. Uh, one of the kinematic one one of the four kinematic equation, uh, s equal to half u plus v t. Uh, so this is like the uh, formula for trapezium, isn't it? Uh, the two parallel two parallel side added together. Multiply by the height, uh, multiply half. Uh, that's the area of trapezium. Uh, so this area of trapezium is the or, or area under velocity graph is the displacement. Ah, uh, you see that? This is like trapezium area. So displacement is actually area under velocity graph. Area under velocity graph is displacement. But we never learn about area under acceleration graph, isn't it? We never learn about area under acceleration time graph. Uh, but if you want me to explain, okay, uh, normally acceleration, we, we, uh, we uh, acceleration normally is considered to be constant. Uh. We never have acceleration going up or going down. Uh. We never have acceleration going up or going down. Acceleration normally is constant for our case. Okay, so normally we get uh, like a rectangular shape. Yeah, rectangular shape. Uh, so uh, we have this formula, V equal to U plus AT, isn't it? Uh, v equal to plus AT. So if you transfer this u to the, the other side, it becomes v minus u. Okay, v minus u equal to at. Ah, so now I want to ask you how to get this area of the rectangular shape. Uh, it's also using the length multiplied by the uh, width, isn't it? Or the, the length multiplied by the height. Uh, so the length is, you can say this is the uh, acceleration. Uh, this is a, yeah, a, and this value is a and this is the time, isn't it? The a and the time, okay? Uh, so the rectangular area is a t. A t. Ah, a t. So what is actually a t equal to? A t is actually v minus u. Ah, a t is the area under the acceleration graph. Area under acceleration graph, a t. Uh, and a t is equal to v minus u. So what is Actually, v minus u. v minus u is final velocity minus initial velocity. Final velocity minus initial velocity, which is the change of velocity. Ah, delta v. Ah, so it's change of velocity. So what is actually area under acceleration time graph means? It means it is the change of velocity, delta v. So we can simplify to say that area under velocity graph, area under velocity graph is displacement. Okay, this is displacement and area under the acceleration graph area under acceleration graph is actually change of velocity delta v 
uh, put it as delta v. Uh, so uh, delta v, uh, change of velocity. Uh, remember, uh? so one thing, uh, you look at here, this student, he write it, uh, the area under acceleration graph as final velocity v is not the change of velocity. So why he come up to this conclusion? Because for this case, the initial velocity is zero. You see that? Initial velocity is zero. Uh, it start from rest. Uh, you see, it start from rest. So initial velocity is zero. Automatically, final velocity equal to the area under the graph. So actually, this is not so accurate. Uh, you should actually write this v minus zero. Uh, so area under velocity area under acceleration graph is actually not the final velocity it's actually the change of velocity it is only final velocity if the initial velocity is zero understand uh, so be careful sometimes the initial velocity is not zero initial velocity is not zero uh, it is maybe some value is not start from rest maybe it start from certain velocity so you you cannot say that or you cannot say that uh, uh, area under acceleration graph is final velocity. This is wrong. Understand? Uh, uh, you should actually say uh, area under acceleration graph is a change of velocity. Uh, that is correct. That is change of velocity. Uh, okay? Uh, but for these questions, uh, we actually uh, never learn about area under acceleration, acceleration time graph. But uh, I have to share to you this information just for extra knowledge, we actually don't find out the area under acceleration graph. We don't need to find out area under acceleration graph. But if somebody asks you, you know the area under acceleration graph is change of velocity. Remember, uh, change of velocity is not the final velocity. It's a change of velocity. Okay, or V minus U. Okay, so, okay, you know about that. Now, uh, for this question, don't, uh, I'm, okay, I suggest don't use the a area under the graph. Okay, uh, because it's going to be a little bit tricky. Uh, don't use the area under the graph. To solve this question, we use the um, kinematic formula. Okay, we use the kinematic formula. So how are we going to do these questions? Okay, uh, how are we going to do these questions? So I want to wrap off everything uh, from uh, this one. Okay, never mind. Okay, so now let's do these questions, yeah? Okay, so um, now we do this question step by step. We're going to use the formula like uh, V equal to U plus AT. That's all we're going to use. So we have two sections. Huh? We have two sections. We do section by section. We have section one here and section two here. Why we have two sections? Because we have uh, two values of acceleration. You understand? Two values of acceleration. So the section one, the acceleration is equal to four. Uh, but for section 2, the acceleration equal to negative 2. Ah, remember. And the time here is also important. The time here is also important, yeah? So, we're going to do section by section until we arrive with our final answer. So, section 1, it has acceleration equal to 4 uh, meter per second square. Yeah? Uh, let's do section by section. Okay. Uh, so, uh, it starts from rest, isn't it? It starts from rest. So initial velocity is equal to zero, and then acceleration is four. What's the time taken? Time taken is uh three second, three second. Okay, time taken is three second. Uh, okay. So we want to find the final velocity uh, after three second. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We do until three second first. Then only we go to five second. Yeah. Do step by step. So we just use a formula V equal to U plus AT. Understand? V equal to U plus AT. So uh, 0 plus, uh, this is 4 and then 3. So what do you get? Uh, AT. Yeah? So this is 12 meter per second. 12 meter per second. So that is the velocity after 3 seconds. Understand? This is the velocity at, uh, velocity at 3 seconds. Uh, now go to section 2. Go to section 2 with acceleration. Acceleration now change to negative 2. Uh, change to negative 2. So now what's the initial velocity? What's the initial velocity uh, at this section? Uh, initial velocity at 
I mean at this time. Yeah. Uh, initial velocity at this time at 3 seconds is uh, 12. Uh, so we start with initial velocity 12. Understand or not? Because the velocity has changed from 0 to 0 to 12 meter per second after 3 seconds uh, with this acceleration 4, 4 meter per second square. Uh, so after 3 seconds, the velocity has changed from 0 to 12. Uh, so uh, when the S go to the second section, the acceleration becomes negative 2. So it should start with initial velocity 12 because the velocity already changed from 0 to 12 after 3 seconds. Uh, so the velocity start with 12. Understand? Start with 12 meter per second. So acceleration now has become negative 2. So we want to find the speed. Uh, here we want to find the speed after 5 seconds. That means 5 seconds is over here. Uh, 5 seconds is over here, right? So, how much time it takes from 3 to go to 5 seconds? Uh, how much time it go takes from 3 to 5 seconds? 2 seconds, isn't it? Uh, from uh, 0 to, you know, from 0 to 3 seconds is taking uh, 3 seconds, right? From 0, 0 to... Um, Yep, uh, just want to uh, clarify. Uh. From 0 to 3 second is 3 second. Uh, from 3 to 5 second is 2 second. Ah, understand or not? So, uh, the time start from the 3 second. So, go to 5 second, we have 2 second. So, the time have passed for 2 second. Understand? That's how we do it. Uh, now, find the final velocity. After two seconds, yeah, and uh, decelerate for uh, decelerate for two seconds from initial velocity twelve meter per second. Uh, find the final velocity v. So we apply the same formula again. V equal to u plus a t. Understand or not? Very simple, only this question. So uh, okay. So this is twelve, and then plus um, a is negative two. Okay. And then time is two seconds. Don't put five seconds, ah. Don't put five seconds. Five seconds is the total time. Ah, uh, don't put five seconds because we the uh out of the five seconds, we the three seconds we already counted over here. Ah, uh, so just remaining two seconds, just remaining two seconds for this deceleration. So put two seconds, not five seconds here, yeah. Ah, uh, so okay. So let's calculate the final velocity after. Uh, after this two second, after this two second means at the uh, time uh, five second point lah. Okay, so twelve. Uh, okay, so this is uh, minus uh, four. Uh, so we got a. This is uh, such an easy questions. Yeah, this is at, at time at the total time. Uh, you know, uh, you know, this is uh, total time t one plus t two. Uh, we can consider. We can consider this one, the first one as T1, as T1, the second one is as T2, understand or not? Uh, so this is uh, happen at uh, two, uh, 3 plus 2, lah. Uh, 3 plus 2, so the, this at the 5 second time point. At 5 second time point, the final velocity is 8 meter per second, so the answer is B, is B, uh, 8 meter per second, okay? Uh, so that's the that's the trick to do this question. Uh, don't bother about the area under the graph. Uh, but we know one thing: area under the a, area under the acceleration time graph is the change of velocity. Uh, that's we know for sure. Okay. But for this question, no need to bother about such a complicated uh, knowledge. Just uh, use the normal formula: uh, v equal to u plus a t twice. Uh, we're going to use it, use it twice. Uh, two sections because why we use it twice because we have two values of acceleration acceleration 4 and acceleration negative 2 we have two sections of acceleration okay so that's all for this question bye